Hey guys, so this video I wanted to talk about defending the over underpass. So I'm going to start off by talking about preemptive defense and then I'm going to go into a few different ways to defend it. Also guys, if you guys have any questions or requests, please comment and let me know to give me ideas for future content. So one thing on the preemption is if I know the guy likes to over under, often being in kind of a side tilt position like this can make it a lot harder because even if he drops in, like drop into the over under, when I have this like shielded, let's get back this way a little bit. When I have this leg shielded, it's much harder for him to start really getting a good dig on this. He wants to be in this position here, go back, right? So if I already have the side tilt here, even if he gets kind of the over under position, keep digging in here, I can usually create a strong shield and push on this collar and get my leg back out. So that's one big thing. If you're dealing with a guy who likes to over under a lot, go back up. If you're dealing with a guy who likes to over under a lot is in general, when I'm looking for my initial grips, I have my knees tight, my arms on the outside, but I kind of angle slightly sideways so that when he drops in, drop in, Boom, I already have this shield. I can push on the collar, get my legs out and start working. Okay, so now the guy somehow gets into the over-under. So the big thing is early on, I don't wanna let my knee to get into his armpit space here. Once he clears over my thigh, now I'm in deep trouble and it's really hard, right? So one of the big things to stop this early is when I sense he's got in on the over a little bit, I'm gonna double frame. I'm gonna put one hand on the shoulder and one on the bicep and I'm gonna stiff arm and keep my knee above this. If you do this early, you can usually prevent him from getting in deep. And that gives me time to either get my left foot here on his shoulder or back inside here or if you're less flexible a lot of times I can just push and get this foot back out on the hip if he kind of persists from here he's going to come into a triangle choke or an omoplata okay so again he digs in there I want to frame early and push and get this knee tight so focus on framing and getting your knee tight this is the first stage of defense that I want to do I want to use this one first because it's the least amount of energy and blocks it before he gets in but now we're going to look at the second one which is when he's in a little bit deeper so now he's in a little bit deeper. I can't quite get this fully blocked. I'm able to hold him off a bit, but it's like a matter of time until he's gonna get over this. So what I'm gonna do is as I'm framing here, I'm gonna take my left arm and I'm gonna go over the back here on this side of his head. I keep framing with my right arm. My left leg is going to extend and I can grab some material here. I'm gonna use my bicep in his head and I'm gonna drive his head to the floor on the other side. Once I drive his head to the floor, I'm gonna grab this belt here and I can use my elbow to pin his head into the floor. And it's very easy to sit up. I grab his thigh and now I can often dump him over. Sometimes it can turn into a back take. It just depends on how he responds, okay? So again, first thing, he comes in on the over-under. I wanna frame, get my knee up quick and start lassoing over to defend. Now he's in a little bit more. I can't quite defend it, so I frame. Look, my left leg here, I wanna extend way out this way first, because when I come back, I'm gonna guide it behind the back of his head to push him to this side. Once his head's on this side, he can't continue with the over-under. I can now grab over on the belt. You can go palm down. Sometimes I go palm up if I can get it, and I bridge and pin his head to the floor. Now I hug this leg, and I'm just gonna drive with my left foot on the floor and flip him up and over and come up on top. <laughs> the main thing is, early on, focus on early on, focus on being sideways to defend early, because even if he gets the underhook, I can frame and start working my way out. If he starts to get in, immediately frame, try to not let him get that deep, and now I can start working my leg over. If he does get fully in and I can't go anywhere, I try to frame, left leg straight, bicep on the side of his head, guide him over to the other side, grab the belt, drop here, and drive up and over. All right, guys, be sure to comment and let me know if you guys have future requests. Thanks a lot.